Yo team, what is going on? Just got a little lift done. Thought I'd hop on here and drop two quick tips. Um, but yeah, I mean, a little bit of an update, you know, got the production manager started yesterday, went really well. And that's what made me think of these two tips. Well, first, the first thing I, first thing I thought about being in the gym, just like being in there. I was listening to a podcast and I was like, I gotta tell the people this. And the next thing was just like, uh, um, you know, I kind of realized it yesterday when the production manager started, but my two tips for today, and you know, who am I to say, give tips? I'm, I'm quite the failure. Um, but two tips that I have for you today is number one, if you want to grow your business, you have to be absolutely obsessed. You have to be a hundred percent obsessed. Hang on, I'm taking, getting a call. Okay. Sorry about that had to take a quick call. Um, anyway, what I was saying is yesterday the, the production manager started and literally first day, well, oh wait, no, I forgot. I forget where I was in the end of the last clip, but uh, I, you have to be a hundred percent. I think I was saying you have to be a hundred percent obsessed with your, with your business, with succeeding. Um, number one, get in touch with your, with your why, you know, understand why you're doing it, why you're in business for yourself. Um, but then it, it, it's also, you need to act upon your why, act upon why you're doing it, right? Like you need to be listening to podcasts all the time. I probably have 10 to 15 podcasts that have nothing to do with my industry. As a matter of fact, some of them couldn't be like further from my industry. And I learned so much from them. Like I've, I listen to podcasts about how to be a better attorney, how to be a better like uh, financial advisor, like all this random stuff um, that, helps a ton that helps a ton and I listen to it or read a ton of books right so I'm just saying get obsessed and act like you actually want to succeed because I know people personally who you know say oh I want the best for my business all that stuff and they bitch and moan when things aren't going their way and then they don't fucking care they're they're never you know they're never listening to the podcast that I recommend to them they're never uh, reading any books. Like I, I've lent this one guy a book and he never fucking read it. And then he wants to come to me and bitch and complain. I'm like, dude, you never even read the book. I tried to help you. Um, but I don't know. That's, that's the number one thing. Be, be obsessed, be a lifelong learner. Uh, and then number two is hire for your weaknesses. Like yesterday when my production manager came in for the first day, he like blew my mind. Cause I'm always focused on, you know, drive revenue, sales, marketing, make the phone ring. And he came in and was like, dude, dude, our, our production capacity per truck is like half of what it should be on a monthly basis. I'm like, holy shit, I didn't know that. And he's like, we need to get this equipment. You need to do this. This will make us so much more efficient. Our revenue per hour will jump by this if we do this. Our callback rate is going to be this. You know, like all this stuff that I just, I'm not wired to think that way. So, you know, he came in and, and just complimented me so well. He literally one day he's been with me and he blew my mind already. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. So I'm, I'm excited to have him and you need to realize that your, your business is like really five main parts, sales, marketing, administration, production, and executive. And you need to find out what you're good at and then hire for everything else. Find out what you're good at and find out what you want to do and then hire for everything else. Um, because if you hate administration, you try to be the admin for, you know, the first two, three years that you run your company, you're going to get burnt out. You're going to hate it. You're going to hate entrepreneurship. Same thing if you hate, you know, any, any of the other things. Um, I mean, in the beginning, you got to be good at sales, but you know, if, if you want to get off this out of the sales seat, then eventually you got to fire yourself and you got to find somebody who's good at sales. You have to hire for your weaknesses. So those are my two tips for today. I don't know. Become obsessed, learn more, uh, you know, jump into podcasts, jump into books, walk the walk, act like you actually want to grow your company act like you actually want to create wealth for you and your family and create family and create a good opportunity for your employees because that's what it's all about um and number two yeah hire hire for your weaknesses uh it's what i've done so far every year i look at the org chart every day i freaking look at the org chart and i say what can i stop doing today what can i delegate out because you're never going to grow the truck grow the business to a million dollars from inside the truck at least in the power washing industry i know you can do it if you're plumbing or hvac or something like that um, but you need to, you need to have a, you know, 20,000 foot view, a 40,000 foot view 
of the business in order to grow it. You need to be able to see where you need to allocate money and chop heads and hire people. Like you need this grand vision of the business. You'll never get it being so in the weeds day to day. That's why you need to fire yourself from the lowest point of the org chart and work your way all the way up. But I don't know, I'm sure that was a lot of rambling. I'm sure it didn't make a lot of sense because these videos, I don't think they usually make very much sense. But that's what I got for you today. Start learning more. Hire for your weaknesses. And I don't know, I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.